Well, hello everyone. It is Wednesday. It is the 16th of March. It is 12.45 p.m. It's a sunny day. 98% clear skies. Just a slight breeze. So the weather's fine. I'm on the way on Highway 5 down to the river and back. Give me seven miles for today. Traffic's a little bit heavy today. It's a little noisy. But anyway, just getting out. No backpack today, just doing some walking, put some miles on. Have new hiking shoes from a couple days ago and uh, found a new way to lace them up. So the, the trick, the trick is to not cramp your toes. Let your toes have as much room in the toe box as possible and keep the shoe tight to your ankle area. So when you walk downhill especially, your toes don't slide and keep pounding the front of your shoe. So uh, they feel pretty good. So this is what it looks like today. The river's up ahead about just a little less than a mile. And uh, there's no snow around here. I can see some off in the distance, a little tiny patches on the north side of the hill. That's all I see. I'm kind of curious to see what the river looks like. So, Anyway, that's where I'm at. Hope you're all having a good day. And I will talk at you later on. I'm at the river. Today's Wednesday the 17th. I had said it earlier. It was the 16th. Here in Alberta, Canada, we don't have a date change. We just have a time change. So, St. Mary's River, still frozen. This uh, bridge here is three and, three and a half miles from the house. St. Mary's River, south side of the bridge. Actually, some running water. That's, that's amazing. I didn't expect that. Down here, you can see it, Lee's Creek, it's running. It was running the last time I came. Well, I'm headed back into Cardston. That's about, uh, I think it's about two miles from here, back to the house. So, it's a nice day. There's the mountains, that's Chief Mountain, that rectangular looking mountain right there. It's the Rocky Mountains. I don't know where they get that name from. So many rocks over there on those mountains. Oh, I guess that's why they call them the Rocky Mountains. Well, I'm trying this camera sideways, this part here. 
the camera is long way it's parallel to the ground long ways my other my other shots have been the camera's tall ways the short end parallel to the ground so I'm curious what this might look like on the as you're watching the video so the river is flowing I'm surprised about that I still need to be better at aiming this crazy thing I can see I'm off track there goes a driver in a car head is coming my way just about on this white line for the shoulder I've had these drivers come on this rumble strip several times not today but while I've been walking two or three times I stepped off into the grass because it comes so far over and my honest opinion well my dad said my dad said he drove Greyhound for 32 years plus another 15 years driving a tour bus said the worst drivers he ever saw in his life are La Jolla Cove in La Jolla by San Diego he said they're the worst ones he's ever seen while we were in Belize and Guatemala people there just drive crazy because they're they probably don't even take a test or anything they probably just get in the car and figure it out so you kind of you kind of expect it kind of look for it here the people seem to drive like they're scared to death kind of like a cat walking around just looking I mean they're just like nervous that's how I see it I don't think they're good drivers I think they're too nervous too scared and uh, and too polite you can be on the sidewalk 10 or 15 feet away from the corner where you're going to step onto the street to cross the road in town you meet 10 or 15 feet away from the corner and they're already stopping they might be in the middle of the intersection stopping and I'm like holy cow and I wave them on like go on don't stop in the middle of the road somebody doesn't see you're gonna broadside you so I don't think these drivers here are very good that's my opinion well it's been a good walk and uh, Hope you all had a good day. Love and prayers to everyone. Smile, keep smiling. Talk to you next time around.